Hello, welcome back to Fitness Friday with Johnny Tiger. Date is March 10th, 2023. Today is also a special day, uh, as I mentioned during Music Monday. Today uh, is the birthday of my nanny when I was a child, uh, my nanny Maru. She is, I believe, like 84, 83, 84 uh, this year. So. Yeah, getting up there in age. Um, technically, her birthday is the 11th, but because Taiwan is ahead uh, of us a little bit, so it's already the 11th over there. So after I finish today's video, I'm going to uh, make a call to Taiwan and talk to the woman that brought me up and taught me everything I knew. Um, but first, I am going to teach you something that I know. Uh, today, we're going to do some simple arm exercises with dumbbells. So, grab yourself a pair of dumbbells, uh, heavy, light, medium, whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, we're going to do five simple exercises that will hit all the muscle groups in your arms and your shoulders. Before we get into that, let me quickly uh, recap and something I talked about before. When you're working with dumbbells, especially uh, when there's no one spotting for you, be very, very careful. Always rather err on the side of a little bit light rather than too heavy. Okay? If it's too light, all you have to do is do more reps. That's fine. If it's too heavy, you're going to injure yourself. Okay? Let me show you guys. I'm not going to injure myself. I'm perfect. But I'm going to show you guys really quickly how easy it is to injure yourself with dumbbell. Okay, let's say you're doing a shoulder press with dumbbell, but let's say this is really, really heavy, and then you do one, no problem. You do two, no problem. And then when you do three, this you, you start to struggle, and this starts to lean that way, okay? Your, elbow, your arms start to lean to the outside that's when you're going to mess up your elbow, right? Uh, and then you can't just drop it. It's not a machine. If you drop this, it's going to hurt your foot or break something, right? So when you are working with free weights, dumbbells, barbell, always err on the side of caution, okay? This is why a lot of people, uh, before you say it, I'm going to just say yes. A lot of people watching this video and say, ah, oh, how can you be a fitness guy? How can you be a martial art guy if you are just playing around with 20 pound, 25 pound dumbbells on video? We see other experts that are lifting like 200 pounds, 300 pounds. Well, it's because I want to be able to continue to do my videos. I want to be able to continue to fight and perform martial arts and teach martial arts. I don't want to run any kind of risk. I treat, when people say they treat their body like a temple, I really literally do try to treat my body as a temple because without my ability to perform martial arts, to teach martial arts, uh, to make videos, uh, to teach fitness, uh, to uh, be my ability to draw and to uh, do all kinds of uh, other things including playing music, I can't make money. <laughs> I, I can't pay rent. So I literally need my body to function for me to be able to continue to pay rent, to buy food, to feed the cat. Uh, so I much rather, when I'm making videos, I much rather err on the side of extreme caution. 25 pounds, 20 pounds, yes, it is a little bit uh, on the light side, but hey, the whole point uh, for this video is for me to be able to show you guys what to do, rather than for me to show off how big my biceps can get or how heavy a weight I can pick up. Now, if you say, hey, Johnny Tiger, I'm going to pay you $500 if you can uh, pick up that 200 pound barbell or dumbbell over there. Yeah, I'm going to go over there and pick it up. You pay me the money, I'll do it. Um, with the reason, of course. Um, anyway, that's a little bit of preamble. Let's get to our workout. 
by the way, I did that preamble, so you guys have a chance to go grab your dumbbell. So I hope that you guys haven't just been sitting there and uh, just now scrambling to get your dumbbell, because that's what I've been talking for. And so you can go grab it. We're going to start with something like, like, like the most basic, uh, which is bicep curl. When you do bicep curl, the biggest thing to keep in mind is you don't want to lift your shoulder up. You don't want to lift your elbow up. Okay, when you do your bicep curl, let me show you guys. I'm turning my back to the camera, so hopefully you can see my elbow. When you lift, the elbow stay put. So you imagine you put your elbow on a pad, right? And then when you do your bicep curl, the elbow should stay con in contact with the pad, okay? Even if you are not using a pad, even if you're standing like I am, the elbow should stay relatively still, okay? So don't do things like this, okay? Don't pull your shoulder up. Don't pull your elbow up and do this, okay? Then you're not working your bicep. You're totally messing up the form, okay? So when you do your bicep curl, the elbow and shoulder should not pull upward, okay? It's just the elbow joint going like this, okay? Your, it's just your forearm and your hand going up and down, up and down, okay? So for bicep curl, most basic bicep curl, you can either do a standing or kneeling down. So a lot of people find kneeling is tougher because you have to engage your core when you're kneeling. When you're standing, you can actually uh, uh, leverage with your leg. Holding the dumbbell down by your side, one in each hand. You can do one hand at a time if you wish. You don't have to do both hands, okay? And we're just going to bend our elbow to bring this up to our chest and then let it go all the way straight down, okay? Let your arm go all the way straight. And then bend. We're going to do 10, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's your very standard bicep curl. Okay, again, it's just your arm, your forearm moving up and down. Okay, your elbow, your shoulder should not be lifting. Okay, so when you feel, when you feel your bicep curl, it should all be in the bicep, in the front uh, of the upper arm. <laughs> if you're feeling it in your shoulder, you're feeling your delt, feeling it in your tricep, you're doing your bicep curl wrong. Okay? Next, we're going to do uh, some Arnold press. Arnold press is great for working your coordination and uh, working your delts and your shoulder and your back. How do you do Arnold press? Let me show you guys without weight. You start by holding the uh, dumbbells, one in each hand, uh, in front of your chest or just above your chest. Just, you can be standing or kneeling. Uh, you can do this sitting in a chair too, but I don't recommend that. Like honestly, if you do your weight lifting, standing or kneeling, a lot of it will engage your core. You have to stabilize uh, with your leg, which means while you're working out, you're working your core, you're working your stability. But if you just sit on a chair, yes, you still get the arm workout, but your your core your waist, your hip, your legs will be all out of whack because you're not stabilizing. Okay, so that, but if you find it really difficult to do a standing or kneeling, yeah, find a bench to sit on, that's fine. Okay, so back to Arnold press. Hold the dumbbell in your hand in front of your chest with the finger, uh, the, your palms facing your chest. And then you're going to push up towards the ceiling and as you go up, you rotate your hand so your 
fingers, your palm will now face outward when you are up towards the ceiling. And then when you come back down towards your chest, you rotate your wrist so your palm are towards your chest. Okay, so it's like a shoulder press. Oh, the only difference is uh, you're rotating your hand when you push upward and rotating your hand back to new, uh, uh, the original position when you come back down. Okay, we're going to do 10 of these. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's Arnold Press. I don't know if Schwarzenegger invented these or what, but yeah. Moving on to exercise number three. We're going to do bent over row. So this one, you do need to be standing, or at the very least, you can sit on a stable platform that allows you to hinge your body forward, bend your body forward a little bit. The key for this one, let me show you guys the motion without the uh, dumbbell. Bend your body forward by pushing your hip back, keeping your back relatively flat. Okay, keeping your back relatively flat. So don't arch your back. Don't arch uh, your back, don't round your back. You want to keep your back relatively flat. And then holding the uh, dumbbell, one each hand, you, when you hunch, or, uh, when you bend forward at the waist, you'll find that the dumbbell will be hanging down by your knee. And then all you'll be doing is pulling them to your chest by bringing your elbow back and pinch your shoulder blade together. Okay, that's the bend forward row. Okay, so bend forward, pull back, pull back, just like that, okay? Grab our dumbbell, we're going to do, do 10 of these. Make sure that you have a nice strong stance and don't round your back. Just lean forward by pushing your butt back or keep your back uh, relatively flat. Okay? We're going to do 10 of these. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, relax your neck. Eight, nine, ten, relax your neck. Don't tighten up with neck. Uh, elbow should stay as close to your body, so don't flare out. Don't flare out. Uh, if you flare out, it will hurt the crap out of your neck and your shoulder. Exercise number four tricep extension. Okay. This time, I'm going to go down on my knee so you guys can hopefully see my arm better. For tricep extension, you want to do it one side at a time uh, because you're going to, you, you'll need the uh, one hand to spot for you. Let me show you guys what I mean. Taking the dumbbell Lift it overhead, and then I have the dumbbell in my right hand. I'm going to lower the dumbbell to the back of my head like this, and bend my arm, let my arm bend, so let the dumbbell, let me turn, come to the back of my head like this, okay? But you can see I am keeping my left hand on the back of my head, on top of my head, so if I lose control of this, I'm not going to cave in my own skull with the weight, right? Okay, so all we are doing is straighten the arm and let it down, let it bend. Straighten the arm, let it bend. Straight the arm toward the ceiling, let it bend. We're going to do 10 of these, okay? One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now we switch on. And we're going to do ten with the other arm. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay? When you do this, your body should stay as straight, as upright as possible. So if you find that the weight is so heavy that it's leaning your body back, it's like so you are forced to bring your chest up towards the ceiling, you need a lighter weight. It's too heavy. Okay? It shouldn't do that. Now, exercise number five, renegade row. Renegade row, we are going to go down to a plank position. You can do it on your knee if you wish. Okay, you don't necessarily have to do this from plank. Doing it from plank is just good for your core, but you don't have to. So you, if you go into a plank position with the dumb, uh, the dumbbell uh, uh, about parallel to each other, about shoulder width apart, about chest level on the ground, so you can put your hands on it, right? Put your hands on the dumbbell and go into a plank position. And then, you yeah, just to do the renegade row, you just uh, pull one dumbbell to your chest while holding the plank position like this. One, two, keep your core tight. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, the one thing that you want to avoid doing is when you start to get tired, you can notice that I did that. Uh, I think uh, I'm rep number six. Uh, when I was trying to pull off the left one. When you start to get tired, you'll pull with your body. So rather than pulling with your arm like this, you'll pull with your body and you'll find yourself uh, rotating like this. Okay? Don't do that. Try to avoid doing that. Okay? You should keep your body as straight, as even as possible and only pull with your arm for renegade row. If you hit all these five, all five of these exercises, do uh, 10 reps, 15 reps, and three sets, four sets each, it will hit every muscle group in your arm, shoulder, and upper back. It's a good little uh, exercise set for people who want to build up their arms and shoulders. Thank you for checking out today's Fitness Friday. I'll see you guys tomorrow. For survival Saturday. Oh yeah, I posted a couple of shorts, a couple of short videos earlier. One uh, of my artwork and the other one was a short action figure video. You guys can check those out too. Have a good night and I'll see you guys tomorrow.